So people, I hope your Easter is going amazing. By the time I upload, it probably will be finished. So I hope you did have an amazing Easter. But today, as you can see from the title, we're going to be making some Easter egg cheesecakes. I've been seeing them made loads of times, but I've never tried them. So I thought, why not give it a go? Let's do it today for an Easter video. I haven't really got much time to film anything else. I know last year I had an Easter egg hunt. The camera's really messed up, you know, so it's going to be a bit difficult to film videos like that and vlogs and stuff. So I thought I might as well do a little cooking one for you, give it a review, see what it tastes like. So yeah, if you guys are enjoying the videos, make sure you hit the like button. It's road to 2K now, so you could help me hit my goal. I'd really appreciate it. So subscribe down below, you know what to do. Turn on all notifications and let's go. I hope you enjoy this Easter egg cheesecake video. For this video, you're gonna need some Easter eggs. We got these two. I picked up two just in case one fouls so we can try with the other one. So we can both attempt it. We've also got this one, but we're gonna be eating that. So choose your Easter egg of your choice that you want. Some toppings that you want for it. Go crazy, you know, get creative. You're gonna also need some caster sugar, some double cream of your choice. You're gonna need some cream cheese of your choice too. Also, you're gonna need some nice creamy butter. I can't believe it's not butter. You need some digestives or crumbly biscuits of your choice. So have a little pick of what you like. I've gone for digestives. I may even go for Biscoff for one of them. We'll see. And then for the topping, we've gone for mini eggs. You don't have to get mini eggs, but choose your topping, guys. Get creative. A bowl and a whisk. And then obviously a microwave for the butter. And yeah, that's it. That's all you need, guys. So let's get into the video and I hope you enjoy it. Next step, you need a sandwich bag. We've just gone for one of these small ones. All right, go for like a few at, at the time. Obviously you need enough to fill the bottom layer of the Easter egg, so however many you're making, you can decide. So you're getting in that, and then... <laughs> oh, that's Chantal's fault. Look at that cheap bag. Gone. <laughs> so don't do that guys. What not to do. <laughs> Take number two. <laughs> anyway, get yourself a rolling pin because it's a lot easier. I was going to do this, but I didn't think the bag would split that easily. But you know, so get yourself a rolling pin. <laughs> and get yourself a chopping board as it's much easier. So show them the chopping board. And what you want to do is Go crazy and batter it up, make sure it doesn't come out the ends. So you, you want to go crazy, not too much, obviously, because the bag will split again. So literally crumble it up until it's like a biscuit. So I will speed this bit up and I'll get back to you once it's done. Okay guys, so as you can see, it's crumbled up now in the bag. I'm gonna set that to one side so we can get on with our butter, melt the butter, butter, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> so we'll melt the butter now in the bowl. We've got a bit of crumbs in there, but don't worry about that. So we get our bowl, stick the butter inside. So get a knife. I've got my new Japanese knife set, which Shanzo got me, as you can see. Remember, if it's a sharp knife, get your parents or someone to help you. And let's just cut this down a bit. We get our butter, stick it in the bowl ready for the microwave. So now we want to melt that in the microwave for about 30 seconds, I reckon. Just sort of 15, 30 seconds, till it's about halfway melted, yeah? So I'll get back to you once that's done, because I'm sure you don't want to see it in the microwave. The butter's pretty much melted, as you can see. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, it's basically melted. Uh, there's only a little bit left. So if you want, you can always just mix it up till the last bit's melted, as you can see. So it's all melted now, put that to one side. We want to get our Easter eggs out. Let's have a look, let's hope it's not cracked. Okay, we chose a good one. It's not cracked, guys. Just get it out the wrapper, and you've got to try and get it in half perfectly without cracking it. I don't know if this is going to work, so I might have to get the knife again, guys. If it doesn't work, get a sharp knife carefully, and just go carefully down the middle. Like so. Really do not want 
missed a split. <laughs> so I'm taking my time. I think the best thing is to go in slowly. Oh no. This is what I did not want to happen. Well, at least if one half's alright, that's good. Hopefully. Well, it kind of worked. We'll still make it work. Right, let me get the other one open, guys. This is what you don't want to happen. Try not to make this happen. There's no way of fixing it now. I've just got to kind of roll with it. I'll still do it with this one, don't worry. But I'm going to try and get a perfect cut on the other one. Let's see if we can get one. I've got another Kit Kat one, guys, for backup. What should we do? Right, Chantal's going to have a go. Can she do it? <laughs> Come on, you got this. Be careful, man. It's so tense. Come on, you got this. Come on, come on. Just, I can't watch. I literally can't watch. As soon as you do that, it looks like it's gonna break. Another one is kind of split uh, there. I don't know if you can see it, look, it's split all the way up to there. But we've got one good half, hopefully. Oh. How do people do it so easily? They probably get one, but just don't. There we go. There we go. We're done. Yeah. Let's go. All right, so we've finally done at least one half. So that's what you want to try and achieve, guys. It's not the easiest. But give it a go, see if you can achieve it. You want to get your crushed biscuits of your choice and you want to put them into the butter, into the butter like so. Okay, and you want to sort of whisk it together, give it a good consistency. So it's sticky, is that enough butter? Okay, so you sort of want it to look like that, kind of crumbly, like rocks, so it all comes together. Let's grab, I'm going to do it with my one first. So you grab a spoon and stick it in carefully at the bottom. I want it to look like this. Obviously I'm going to flatten it a bit more. But that's kind of how you want it to look guys. I'm going to do the same to the other one. I'll let Chantal do hers. And then we'll move on to the next step. All right guys, so next step, you want to get your bowl clean. My battery's kind of dying, so I need to hurry up. So you want 100 mil. For this, it says it on here if you buy this one. You want 200 of this. This is 180, so we're going to use one Philadelphia. So let's get it in. Let me open it up. Okay, that should do. 100 mil of that. Whole one of these. So I'm going to need my spoon again. So grab your spoon and dump it in. Nice. I love cream cheese. Who else loves cream cheese? Comment down below. Cream cheese. You want two tablespoons of your crafter sugar. Two. Let's go. Right, we're going to mix this up, guys, and we'll get back to you once it's done because my camera's about to die. All right, so you kind of want to mix it until it gets about that consistency, kind of thick. Let's get a scoop and put it in and you just want to make it look kind of decent so let me get this here so you kind of want to get it in there spread it out nicely like so let's get rid of that once you've done that get your top in i might crumble some up let's see i'm gonna crush one of these up Let's drizzle this chocolate on and we're done. So, drizzle your chocolate on, however you need. Bang, 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 bang. This is just an example. You can do it, take your time with it, of course. But that is the finished product, guys. Look at that. Your Easter egg cheesecake. So let's give it a taste and that's the end of the video. Let's give it a quick go. I know you're meant to freeze it, guys. You're supposed to freeze it or put it in the fridge, but let's try it before my camera dies. 
So let's get some of that. It's got a bit of everything in there. As you can see, the biscuit, the chocolate. Let's get a mini egg on top. And let's go. Mmm. So messy, but so good. Oh my lord. That is a must. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. What an Easter treat that is. A lot of chocolate all over my teeth. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. Smash the like button before my camera dies. It's Road to 2K, so give this a try. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Subscribe as always, and I will see you in the next video.